Young People Who Rock, it's our weekly series featuring a different young person or people under 30 doing incredible things out there. Our young people who rock for the week are the organizers of I'm Worth the Wait. We have two of them from Washington with us, 28-year-old Trenton Marsh How and 23-year-old Erica Gandy. Thank you both for being here. We appreciate it because we really wanted to get the perspective from a female point of view and a male point of view. Uh, Trenton, let's start with you. Let's just... Forget the foreplay, I, I suppose the pun intended there. Uh, let's get right to it. You're 28 years old and you're not having sex, but you've had sex in the past. Correct, correct. Uh, the first time I had, uh, well, the last time rather I had sex was in 2001. And uh, since then I've made a decision, I made a choice that I would not have sexual intercourse or relations, uh, whatever you would like to call it, uh, till I am married. And Erica, you are 23 years old and you are a virgin. And why did you decide to be a virgin? Well, I decided to be a virgin because um, not only for personal convictions, but I took a, a look at the statistics, and uh, abstinence proves to be a much more beneficial lifestyle. And both of you are part of the revolution called I'm Worth the Wait. And Trenton, this yes. is basically where you encourage young people to be hip, be hot, be cool, but just stay away from sex and continue a successful lifestyle. Is that right? Correct. I mean, worth the wait is uh, about making a decision, making a choice, and uh, a choice of sexual purity. And, uh, you know, we have entertainment. I mean, it, it's, it's every, I think it's, we're kind of dispelling the myth of what a virgin looks like or what someone who chooses to be abstinent is what they, they look like. You know, I think I think societally we think, you know, they're the nerd, they're the, the one that looks like a bum. But we're trying to tell people, hey, look, you, you, you keep your flavor, uh, you, you rock your style, we're intelligent, we have degrees, we're in grad school, we're in law school. But we've chosen a lifestyle that is uh, sexually pure and we have entertainment. Uh, their comedy shows, fashion oh, shows, runways. Of that, yeah, speaking of that comedy, let's take a quick look at a clip from your founder. And, and this really sets the stage for what you guys do. And, you know, I'm tired of, you know, people coming out of the church and in the body of Christ talking about, I'm saved and I'm a virgin and they look a raggedy mess. The reason why you're still a virgin is because ain't nobody trying to do it with you. Music would make an ugly woman look fine. You know, I know I don't know a whole lot of scriptures, but I don't think that's right how she humping him, though. My brother has never put his tongue down my throat. Have you, Trent? You never? Mm -mm. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if I've been waiting and I've been trusting in the Lord, oh, it's going to go down. <laughs> All right, guys, it has gone down on our website. Let me tell you, the comments have been coming in. And I know you guys can handle it because you've heard a lot of naysayers in the past. I'm going to read one comment on our website that a lot of people are really uh, echoing. They're saying, demanding to wait until marriage, I think that's a little bit much. Why not ask to wait in, until someone has achieved amazing goals, which proves some other level of maturity? Why do you guys have to wait till marriage? What do you say to that, Erica? Well, sexual purity, purity is a choice, and basically, um, we believe Worth the Wait would take the stance that the avenue for sex it was designed for the marriage relationship. It was designed to take place between a to, between a husband and a wife. And so, if we bring in the notion of maturity, once someone is physically mature, once they have reached their goals, they also have to be mature enough to deal with the fact that they now make themselves susceptible to STD, STDs, and HIV and AIDS. And so. We just believe that staying, staying uh, away from sex, premarital sex, will just, um, it, will, it will ensure that you are not susceptible to those ills. But is that tough? I mean, Trenton, you, you were a player before. I mean, let's be real. You, you told me you were a player. You had a lot of ladies out there. Do you miss having sex? There are a lot of uh, depictions in the media that say, hey, sex is cool. Let's keep on doing it. Uh, there, there's no question that um, how society portrays sex and money and plenty of sex and plenty of money can really assuage the character of a man. And uh, I'm one that kind of dispels those, those myths. Uh, clearly was a player. Uh, I have guys that, friends long time ago that would tell you I've done a lot of things. But when I made the decision and the choice back in 2002 to, to make this a lifestyle, you know, this is, this is beyond just words. 
Uh, I always say, you know, when words and actions become one, that's the personification of integrity. And so with that, you know, there, there are a lot of things that, you know, you might see on the media, but that doesn't mean uh, that I have to, you know, uh, you know, it's one of those things of delaying gratification. Right, and so I'm delaying my gratification until I get married. Okay, and Erica, there have probably been a lot of temptations for you as well, but a lot of questions uh, were coming on our website about being gay or being lesbian. What do you say to that? We actually have one other question from Joseph who says, how do gay and lesbian young adults engage in a sexual relationship if their right to marriage is widely banned? If they're not allowed to get married, uh, what are they supposed to do? Well, that's an excellent question, and to that, I would say I would direct those individuals to our website, www.iamworththewait.com. Uh, this organization is not for perfect people, so we have people in our organization who have experience in that, in, in homosexuality, and they are no longer homosex hom homosexuals or engaging in that lifestyle because they've chosen a life of, of uh, sexual purity. So I would definitely um, have them take a look at the website and the, the, the stories and the testimonies of those that are part of our group now. Wait, but do you just deal with Christians, or can anybody join Trenton? Uh, this is uh, definitely a, a biblically-based organization, but regardless of your creed, religion, uh, race, uh, I think it's one of those things at the end of the day, when you come to some of our shows, when you come to some of our events, when you visit the website, it's clear uh, that we believe in Jesus. It's clear uh, that we're Christians. Uh, but, you know, but we, we, we have love. you're a lover of everybody. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's... You just don't the, love on each other. Say, say. <laughs> <laughs> right? Am I, okay. Here's another question, guys, from Sean in Arlington, Texas, who says, do you feel that waiting until marriage actually causes young people to get married too soon? Uh, Trent, I'm going to throw this to you because I know you have a lady friend uh, in your life right now. Uh, what do you think? Do people rush into marriage to say, oh, my gosh, I want to jump in the sack. So, all right, if I can do it when I'm married, let's get married. Well, from an organizational standpoint, uh, from Worth the Weight LLC, our organization, The Revolution, no one's waiting around and, and, and getting married. We're maximizing our lives as singles. Uh, again, we have folks in law school, uh, getting a master's in public health, corporate America, such as myself. And so, you know, we're, we're not waiting. Uh, yeah, but are you kissing? Are you kissing no. each other? Erica, if you are in a relationship with a guy, would you even kiss him? Would you perform oral sex? Is that out of the question, too? Let's be real here. Nicole, that's a great question, and uh, it's an emphatic no, because I know that those things lead to, um, you know, foreplay, if you will, leads to intercourse. And so I've, as, a, as I've chosen to abstain from sexual um, pure, from sex, I've encompassed all of those things because they do lead to sex. So what you guys are basically saying, regardless of religion and what people uh, believe about the organization, you're preaching uh, productivity. You're telling young people to get out there, stay away from the distractions, put your head down, and, and be focused on what you want to do. Is that, is that right, Trent? That's a sense that I'm getting from you guys. And that's really what touched us about this story. Young people being successful, getting out there, and doing something besides, you know, watching the MTV, the and grind and they, uh, all sorts of things that are really hard to stay away from. Absolutely. All right. Well, our young people who rock for the week, Trenton Marsh, Erica Gandhi, just two of the founding members of I'm Worth the Wait. And, and we can't you. we can't forget about Dr. Lindsay Marsh. She's actually yes. the, the founder. So I would be remiss if I didn't uh, give her uh, a very big a thank shout you for out to her. All right. starting the organization. There you go. All right. Both of you, thanks, guys. You were nominated on our website, cnn.com slash young people rock. You guys know somebody else out there doing interesting, incredible things. All you have to do is nominate them on this web page as well.